world's most dangerous places. Like the world's most haunted house, the world's tallest bed, a tree house, a vending machine, and I even get trapped inside of a fish tank. So watch until the end of the video to see if I can survive all of these dangerous places. First off, let's see if I can survive the world's most haunted house. Behind me is the Whaley House. It is the most haunted house in all of America. And tonight, we're gonna see if that's true or not. Kinda hoping it's not true. And I wasn't gonna do this alone. So I asked some of my friends to come with me, but they all said, absolutely not. No. Dude, I would totally go with you. Of course you would. Absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, why not? Really? I would love to see if ghosts are real. Okay. It'd be fun. Let's go. Right. Okay, since you guys are the only two that said yes to going to this haunted house, at the end of the night, I want one of you to go in by yourself. No way. No way. Hear me well. No, I'm not. Yeah. You're gonna do okay, it. Okay, no, no, no. Way. You guys are gonna play rock, paper, scissors to see who has to go in by themselves. Huh? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yeah! What? Let's go! All right, Friends, go. you're going in by yourself. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, it's me and the next victims. Huh? What? What are you trying to say, bro? Do you guys believe in ghosts? Me? No. I would have to see it to believe it, but I don't want to see it. Yeah, we don't want to see it. Okay, so it sounds like we're all a little bit skeptical, which is good because we're trying to prove this whole ghost thing to be fake. I've been to a couple haunted places before, and let me tell you, there are ghosts. You just have to respect them and give them the space. Okay, well, we're gonna see if we all feel the same way after tonight. How many people died in this house? So we know of at least four different people that passed away in the house. Some oh, of them great. for so natural So there's a causes. ghost for each one of us. No, that's, that's wonderful, no. isn't it? Okay, so obviously we can't see ghosts, so I brought someone who can. This oh. is Amanda. Hi, thank you so much for inviting me. Wait, ghosts? What do you mean, you see ghosts? Since I was two, I used to draw them before I could speak. It's just, I've always described it, I have one foot on this side and one foot wherever they are. And since we obviously don't know what we're doing, Amanda's going to be helping us out along the way. Yay! Let's go. Not that I don't like you, Amanda. I mean, I, you just, you know, you have a, a past of, I mean, you see ghosts. Oh, whatever you guys need, I'm here to help you out. Can you let us know when, when you see one? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you see a hot single ghost for Jeremy, let him know. They have to be dead to be willing to go out with Jeremy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. One of the most interesting rooms is the dining room. The family had a great granddaughter. Her name was Marianne Reynolds. She was playing around in her home and by accident ingested and poison. She passed away shortly after, right before she turned two. Okay, so this is the jar that the little girl ate. And this is a picture of the little girl that died. And so so with that being said, this is the room where she is most seen. The bottle says poison. Why would she eat it if it says poison? She's a little, she can't read. So since she's known to be seen in this room, we're gonna see if we can try to find Marianne. Okay, so the first tool that we're gonna be using is a REM pod. I'm gonna set it down here. Amanda, can you explain what a REM pod is? So it can detect a few different things. Get near it, there's different colored lights you'll notice. The furthest one should be green. And then as you get closer, it'll start purple. Oh my god. If you, something is touching the antenna, you know, it sounds like a siren. Yeah. That's what it'll experience. I'm gonna make sure that you have temperature turned on. That if we hear a siren, I'm running out of the house. I'm curious and all, but I really don't want to see this actually happen. I know. I, I actually don't really want to do this at all. I think that if we introduce ourselves, it'll make her feel more comfortable, okay. less like we're strangers. You know, these people were living. And Let's do it then. My palms are sweating. Uh, yeah, same. I'm Marianne. My name is Jeremy Hutchins. Um, he has the most meat on his bones out of all of us. Hey, Take whoa. Him. Take him. Take him. Yeah. Marianne. Present yourself if you want to. We're all nice people. Hi, Marianne. My name is Brent. You look like a really sweet girl. You, you know, you dress nicely. Yeah. Nice bow. Nothing to be scared of. Right? Hey, hi, Marianne. I'm Lexi. You know, I really hope that you can come out. We would be delighted to have you hang out with us tonight. Marianne, you might recognize me. I've been here a couple times before. Bought some new friends. Well, they brought me. Um, you've probably seen this device. Did you hear that up there? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. no. What was that? What was that? Yeah. Maybe you go first. No. No. Ah! nothing out here, but that was loud footsteps in the door. I'm gonna tell you that she's in here with us. Mm -hmm. She's over there in that corner. Oh my god, she's actually here? Yeah, she's been here since uh, you started introducing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but she wasn't behind you, so I didn't want to interrupt. So we've been in this room for a little bit now, and the REM pod has not gone off, so ghosts, zero, Lexi, one. Lexi, one? You mean us one? Yeah, we're all in this together. Hey guys, we can't forget, Mariana is still in this room. Yeah. Just, Should let's... we say bye, or does she want to like hang out more? I think that no matter where we go, if she wanted to come with us, she will. 
Oh my god. We were hey, just leaving. We were just me. leaving, actually. At one point, the Whaley House was San Diego's first commercial theater. Thomas Tanner opened up in 1868 and started having performances. Shortly after that, he passed away. But many claim when you're in the theater, you might feel something brushing up against your neck. He was a ladies' man, so in particular, women in that room might feel something playing with their hair or even grabbing their hip. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got to the theater. This is the room where Thomas Tanner, who ran the theater, unfortunately passed away. All right, the next tool that we're using are cat balls. So basically, you set these down and they eventually turn off, but if something goes near them, touches them, they will turn back on and start to light up like this. We're gonna place them down. These turned off, so like I said, if they turn back on, it means something is near them or touching them, which I really hope these don't turn on again. This morning, Amanda sent me a DM and it was one of the worst messages I've ever received. It scared the absolute crap out of me. Basically, she said that Mrs. Whaley came to her house in the morning and she wanted to know if any of us here could play the piano. Because according to Amanda, playing the piano is like a trigger object. Okay, I do know a song. That wasn't bad, actually. Going off. No, Mrs. Whaley's room light just went Wait, off. Wait, it did. That light was on It was on. on. Before. There's no one in there. Did that happen when you were here last time? No, the lights never, ever turned on or off. Did it happen? I don't like this, man. Okay, I knew the lights were turning on and off inside of the room, but I didn't know that the cat ball was going off, too. So that means Wait. she's going back and forth. Oh, the cat ball just turned back on. <gasps> it did, huh? It did. It really did. I just moved it from over there to over here. It was off. It's a trigger object and we've all been standing around playing it. Also, have you guys noticed the drastic temperature change in here? Like extremely hot. Oh my God. I, I thought I was sweating because I was nervous. I'm starting to like not feel good. And the cat ball over there is going off too. Wait, Bruh. what? And the lights are off again. I did not like this. Here, go investigate. It's oh, oh, again. go, go, go there. Go there. Go there. They turned back on. What? Take it's her, take her. Off. Off. <laughs> okay, so Bruh. this is not related to sound. It's nothing no. like that. It's literally if something touches it. And it's like, it's hard to get it to move. It off. wouldn't be going off just from you touching a key. But... Wait, how's it? Bro. <laughs> no way. Oh, the light's back on again, too. Oh my god. Let's. Oh my god, the light just turned off. Dude, you gotta go over there. Like, there's no one here. Look. This is Mrs. Whaley's room? There's literally nothing by this light switch. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go and check out another place of the home. Uh, we're gonna check out the downstairs area. Compared to everything that we've been through tonight, where we're going right now is by far the most haunted and not by kind spirits like the Whaley family. By the spirit, thank you, Jim. When you walk through the property and you enter the parlor, you'll see an archway. According to legend, Thomas Whaley built the house on the execution grounds, and it's believed that the archway that stands between two of the parlors is the exact spot where people were hounded in 1852. One of the daughters got married at a very young age. She did get a hold of her dad's gun. She went into the outhouse, the bathroom, which was outside, and her father heard the gunshot, brought her into the house, and she later passed away in the parlor. Since we made our way to the parlor room and started to gather B-roll, Jeremy saw something that would change the course of the entire investigation. You see that? Actually? I actually did see the curtain completely like somebody had peeked in. It opens. There's no air. I turned the air off. Okay, no, no. no. Get over there. Hey, hey, hey. hey you better film Ooh, it. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, film it, film no. it. No. Stop. I hate it's, that. Why is that still, still moving, bro? It's absolutely open. open. There's... Oh, you know what's in here? This is... And you, did you hear a tap on the glass? This is an original dress from the Whaley family. Nah, this, that's it moving. It is, and there's no, we literally turned the fan off. There's no open windows, no drafts, no open doors. Nah, look, there's no one back there. There's a little territorial. Also, who's that? <laughs> oh. What was that? No. What was that? Okay, we're gonna, we need to get out. Go, Jeremy, go. We're gonna be using another ghost hunting tool in this room. It is called the Estes Method. It requires a blindfold and headphones and print. Huh? Yeah. What? No, we're not gonna put that on. Amanda, explain what this is. Actually, it requires one more thing, a spirit box. So it's just a regular radio, like AM, FM radio, but you're able to get it going backwards, shuffling through fast enough that no real language could come through, nothing that you'd be able to understand. We're going to blindfold Brent, put noise-canceling headphones on him, and hook him up to the spirit box. So when 
when we ask him questions, yeah. he's not able to hear what we're asking, which just validates that whatever comes through on the spirit box and whatever he hears is undeniably what a spirit is responding. I have a feeling this is gonna be really crazy. Let's do it. I have a suggestion you're not gonna like. Well, thank you. No, you can't hear me, can he? <laughs> this is perfect. I think we should put him directly where the gallows were, where everyone was hanged. I think that's a good idea. You like the sound of that, Brad? He doesn't huh? know what's happening, and it's like best he doesn't know. All right, Brent is all hooked up. I think it's time we start asking the spirits some questions, and Brent is going to be telling us their answers. All right, we're gonna introduce ourselves again. My name is Amanda. Hi, I'm Lexi. Hey, I'm Jeremy. We would specifically like to speak to the spirit of Yankee Jim. Are you sure we want to speak to him? Or any other criminal who was hanged here where we're standing. Is there anyone here with us now? Who would want to say anything? One, four. One, four. Fourteen. Or Fourteen. one of them and four of us. Oh. It's just odd that they would say one, four instead of 14. Do you feel not safe Slight. because of that? Slight. Slightly I do. We're just here to open a line of communication. You tell us something about where we are. Any of us here or your name. Something about you. Christian. Shut up. Pantry. What? The pantry is right next to where Marianne passed away. Baby. No. That was a baby. No. That was no. A... Did you live here? Did you die here? Follow. We no. don't want to follow you. This isn't Instagram. We don't want to follow you. And on that same note, you're not welcome to follow any of us. Dollars. He robbed people and he stole a boat. Brent, what? Take it. Take what? It. Take Why? It. Take it, Jeremy. Why? Take it. Why? What? It did said, it, say? it said like death three times in a row. Three times in a row. Get out. I'm done with that thing. Oh my god. Okay, uh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> no. I mean, I feel like it's telling us they want us to leave. Maybe we uh, put somebody else under for one more minute. We ask them if they want us to stay or if they want us out. But the fact that they told you death I, three yeah, times. I, um, I think that's our sign. I think we need to go now. Are we safe here? Somebody just walked by the hearth. White shadow. Thomas. I wonder if that was Thomas that walked by. Wait, isn't what? Thomas the, the dad? Yeah, Thomas Whaley. Oh my god! And, and Thomas, who died upstairs, right? Oh! Jeremy. So there's two. Jeremy didn't know that. Jeremy doesn't like pick up information like that. I swear to you, Jeremy did not know that. Is it Thomas Whaley? Oh, what Jeremy, the what? 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 It just said you were about to die. No, what? I, shut I, I, up. No, I did not. <laughs> I swear to God. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Those I'm literally are cute. Well, this is where people used to die. And you said Thomas, Thomas Whaley, that's the dad. No, I want to leave now. There's the guy that freaking- Hear this stuff. Because I want to leave now. I yeah. don't want to put that on. I want to leave now. I heard Thomas, and I heard you are about to die. And I, I heard like, I heard yup like a lot, like yup. yup. Like confirming. Yup. Yep. Let's yep. get out of here yep. now. As you guys know, we played rock, paper, scissors earlier to see who would go into the house by themselves, and Brent was our lucky winner. I don't know why I'm doing this. Literally, we heard a knock on this glass door. This is their actual dresses that they used to wear, and it's in this glass, and we heard a knock on it earlier, so this is one of the scariest rooms in the house. This is the, um, the, REM, the REM pod. I have this just in case. Okay, so earlier, Jeremy was saying, Thomas, Thomas, which is Thomas Whaley. Thomas, if you're in here, just come near this thing. Make a motion. You said death three times in my ear. If you want me to die, come near this thing. Thomas, if, if this doesn't go off in one minute, then this is my house, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this house from you. All right. That thing literally just went off. That thing literally just went off. It was green. All right, I don't care. I don't care that the 10 minutes isn't up. I'm leaving now. I'm getting out of here right now. I'm out. All of us should say out loud, you know, set your boundaries and tell everything that we dealt with here tonight. It needs to stay here. Nothing is welcome to follow us home. Nothing is allowed oh, to follow me home tonight, Mr. Whaley. Everything needs to stay here, including Jeremy. Let's go. Bye, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. See you later. Hey, I need to say my quote. Good luck. No. <laughs> hey, nobody can follow me home. Except for Lexi. All right, you guys, so for this week's video, I am going to be staying overnight in the world's most dangerous bed. And the reason why it's the world's most dangerous bed is because it's 60 feet up in the air. And we're going up. Oh my God, you guys. This is everything we want. This feels like I'm stuck at the top of the Ferris wheel. This is my bed for the night. These are just a bunch of rooftops. I'm literally going to be sleeping underneath the stars tonight. Actually, no, I'm pretty much sleeping with the stars tonight because that's how high up I am. This is really, really terrifying. And I'm going to sit down now because this is freaking me out. Don't film her without her wig on. All right, so this is Lexi Jr. And to show you guys just how high up this bed is, this is what would happen if I were to fall. All right, I, I'm gonna put on my harness. This just got real. Please guys, give this video a big thumbs up because I don't wanna end up like that watermelon. 
You guys, I honestly didn't realize how scary this was going to be. Like, I'm really high up. Lexi, why are you still in bed at 3 p.m.? I'm 65 feet in the air and that's what you're worried about? You guys, my mom's crazy. Oh my God. How long are you gonna be up there? Overnight. Yeah. All right, Lexi, well, I have a little challenge to change the height. It could get better or it could get worse. How can it get any worse than this? I have a basketball and I also have a basketball hoop. I'm gonna give you three shots. If you make any of them, I'm gonna lower you 10 feet. But if you don't make any of them, I'm gonna raise you up 10 feet. So, uh, good luck. This thing doesn't go any higher. Oh, trust me, it does. <laughs> no, you guys, this is so scary. All right, first shot. All right, here we go. Two, one. Yo. All right. Second shot. Go. I literally thought that went in. Can you just lower me? Like, it's too scary up here. No, I'm not gonna lower you. Also, Lexi, I forgot to tell you, uh, these things tend to fall over sometimes when they're at that kind of height, so uh, just don't make any sudden movements. Oh my god. You guys, I'm getting really sick and tired of bed. The final shot, if you miss, going up there. So, uh, better make it. <laughs> All right, final shot. I have a good feeling about this one. Oh my god! You guys, I just hit Ben in the head. Can you still lower me 10 feet? Please? Well, at least I'm not going any higher. Hey Ben, before you go, do you think you can bring me some food? Uh, do I have to? I mean, yeah. Alright, you know what? I got you. I'll get something for you. Okay, I'll send down my bucket. Alright, here comes the bucket. I know it's pretty hot up there. You know, it's probably really scary. You know, it hasn't been a lot of fun for you. So I got some pizza to hopefully make it better. Pull it up and please don't drop it again. Thank you, Ben. Oh my God, you guys, Ben got me pizza. Pizza! Are you kidding me? Ben! Oh, it's so disgusting. I can't even like. Oh my God, he left me just the crust and it's filled with ants. I don't want this. Why? You're so ungrateful. I got you pizza. Oh my God, there are ants all over my bed now. Just go. Now I don't feel bad about hitting you in the head. That's why I gave you happy and pizza, because you hit me in the head. All right, so Brent's going to come over, and we're going to see what he thinks about my new room, my new bed. I'm up here. What are you doing up there? This is my new room. Brent, I have to stay in this bed overnight. Why? Because it's the world's tallest bed. I swear, some of the things she does is just like so pointless. It's like, what? I have Lexi's favorite candy, and so I'm gonna see if I can make her lose her own challenge. Got a lounge chair, some of Lexi's favorite candies, and a megaphone. You guys, Brent just pulled up with a lawn chair and my favorite candy. Lexi, I have your favorite candy. What do you want me to do about that? Well, I'm gonna eat it all if you don't come down here. You're trying to get me to lose at my own challenge. This is like the meanest thing anyone's ever done to me. If you come down now, you're gonna have some of the candy and a little bit of my Sprite. Brent, it doesn't matter what you do, I'm not budging. I'm comfortable up here. Are you sure? I'm good. I'm positive. You guys, I don't know what Brent's trying to do, but it's not working. I'm determined to complete this challenge. Welcome aboard, Flight 1956 United. Uh... Am I at the airport now, or what's going on? I'm like the same level as the plane, so I guess this makes sense. Uh, we're gonna be on our way shortly, uh, and uh, just make sure your seatbelts are securely fast. He's so at about uh, 34,000 feet up there. Uh... <laughs> oh my God, he's purposely trying to be annoying so that I get off this thing. And it's not gonna work. There are eight exits on this aircraft, two located in the front and rear of the aircraft, and four over the wing exits. When did he have the time to learn what the Delta Airlines say? You guys, I'm on a bed 65 feet in the air, which is bad enough, and now Brent is singing. Lexi, please come to the principal's office. Lexi, please come to the principal's office. Thank you. Oh my god. Why did I invite him here? I should have never had him even come here. You know, I don't know why I'm trying to make her lose at her own challenge because staying up there all night is bad enough. My work here is done. I'll see you later, Lexi. All right, I'm getting pretty bored up here and I'm trying not to look down, so we're gonna distract myself by making a drone montage. So I hope you enjoy this because this is gonna be really embarrassing for me. to think about what happens if I were to roll off the bed. And uh, you know what happened? Well, I wouldn't be here to tell you what happened. <laughs> so <laughs> once you get over how scary this is, it's actually pretty relaxing. Like I'm just hanging out on my bed. Definitely not almost a thousand feet in the air. Definitely not. Not doing that. No. What the hell is that? What is going on? What the hell are you doing up there? Wait, so what, am I coming up there with you? You can come up here, but you have to bring me French fries? 
<laughs> what the hell? Oh, you didn't know I could teleport? Did you actually bring me for a drive? Yeah, the back's a little wrinkly, but I ate a few. <laughs> you guys, Andrew's shaking the entire scissor lift. Andrew, I thought you were scared of heights. I'm not. Do you want to look down? No. Come on, let's look down. No, I'm good. Just let's look see. down. For the railing. Stop! Andrew, don't do that. Actually, don't Ready? do that. No, get off. <laughs> Andrew, you came at the perfect timing because we have a lovely sunset right in front oh, of us. Back. There's one upside to doing this challenge, and it's being so high up that you get the perfect view of the sunset. All right, so Andrew, what should we do? Should we play a game? Yeah, I'm actually down. Oh, okay. I had one in mind, actually. Did you? How about you play uh, <laughs> The Last Fall of the Bed? Ready? How about... You guys, Andrew's been trying to get me to like look at the stars for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> like the most overcast <laughs> night I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, if it started raining. Imagine. Oh shoot, Yo. I didn't even think about that. It actually kind of looks like it's about to, huh? What should we do? I don't know, I wasn't planning on you being up here with me. This is too what sketchy. If, Andrew, you have to go down, actually. Well, it's sketchy enough for like one person to sleep up here, like me. So I don't think you can join. Well, there's plenty of room, come on. Oh, is there? There is. All right, well, I'm gonna get settled in. I'm settled in, getting a little bit nervous to go to sleep, only the... Andrew, Why? what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you getting nervous? Maybe because you're here and I'm literally scared of you. I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> I'm not kidding, you guys. This isn't fun for me at all. Lexi, you think I want to be up here? I need to take a sh... <gasps> Andrew, you... what do you mean you think I want to be up here? I didn't ask you to like, come up I here. I really need to, like, take a dump. Because I need a, I need a fart, actually. Like actually. I think I'm gonna get off. I think I'm gonna get off. Are you being serious? Hey guys, I'm ready to be done. I'm not gonna do it. What? Can you let me down? Overreact. You're over. I'm overreacting. You farted in my face and you've been shaking no, the didn't. tower. And what? This is it for me. I'm leaving. No, you're not. I am. Andrew, you made this so miserable for me. You thought you were staying overnight. I thought I was too until you showed up and ruined it for you me. You just lost your own challenge. Yeah, I did lose my own challenge, but maybe you can finish it for me, Andrew. No. Why would I want to? Stop! Lexi! Let's stop! What? I still need to take a dump! Alright, here's some toilet paper! Bro, what the hell? Good luck, Andrew! I am going to be staying overnight in a vending machine. Okay, I don't see this going well for you at all. You don't believe in me? No, I don't believe in you. You know what? I don't really either, so please, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Let's go! So, this is the vending machine. Okay, so I'm gonna be inside this vending machine for a very long time. So before I get in, I'm going to test out a viral TikTok vending machine hack, and we're gonna see if it works or not. Let's say I want some Oreos. Ooh, 30, okay. that's $1. One, one, two, seven, eight, four, five. Now this part's very important, guys. Okay, one, one, two, seven, eight, four, five. Okay, so say I want the Oreos. That's C, three. Okay, $1. One, 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 two, seven, eight, Four, five. Come on, come on. And there you guys have it. These TikTok vending machine hacks do not work. But luckily I get free snacks anyways because I'm gonna be inside here all night. So let's get in this thing. Okay, so I'm not going to fit into this vending machine as it is. So I'm gonna take out a few rags and then we're gonna see what we're working with. A little help? Okay, let's test it out. Oh wow, it's pretty safe. Oh. Never mind. You guys, I think if I'm gonna attempt to stay in here all night, we need to take off one more wrap. All right, I'm getting in the vending machine and I am not coming out until the morning. Mark my words. Okay, I have my pillow, my blanket. Oh, you know what? This, is, this isn't this is bad. Like, this is kind of comfortable. Oh, finally. What? Goodbye. Wait, have fun. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am now in the vending machine. I mean, what is there to really do in here? This is by far one of the funniest and probably gonna be one of the most difficult challenges I've ever done. Let's hope that I don't get into a fight with this vending machine or I'm gonna have to knock some sense into it. Get it? I've already been in this vending machine for too long and I just got in here. And the chips are stale. <laughs> All right, so since I am pretty bored, I did invite Pearson over, and we're also gonna pull a little prank on her. A new iPhone! So I'm gonna replace one of the chips with this iPhone. Obviously, she's gonna wanna pick the iPhone, but inside of it is a note that says, gotcha, LOL. I'm very sorry about this, Pearson, but I'm stuck in a vending machine for the whole night, so someone else has to suffer too. Pearson. Hey. Over here. Vending machine? Hey, Pearson. <laughs> oh my god. Who does this? <laughs> Literally, who does this? Please let me out. Is this how she uses her free time? Pearson, I'm staying overnight in a vending machine. 
vending machine. That is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. You know what? I think it's one of my dumber ideas too. Okay, Pearson, so obviously you see the snacks in the vending machine. I don't know if you have any cash on you, but you don't have to worry because we're giving you one free choice. So here is everything in there is a $1.25. Oh, wow. Ooh. And you can't pick me. I'm oh, I'm out of here. Yeah. Take your money back. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm out of stock. Okay, wait. There's an iPhone in here. If yeah. I can purchase an iPhone for $1.25, it's been a good day. Hopefully it works. So, we put, oh my god, it works! Okay, B5. Hopefully it doesn't hit me in the head. <gasps> oh, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen! That may or may not have just broken the iPhone. <laughs> it literally worked. This is the best vending machine I've ever seen. Is it just because I'm in it? That's why. That's, That's why, why, right? <laughs> Okay, so now Andrew's coming over to hang out, entertain me. I don't even know. It's just, it's pretty boring in here. And you can pick with, you know, what you have, whatever you want. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, I am pretty hungry about B8. B8? Could I do B8? What's B8? You're B8. Do you happen to have like a million dollars? Because that's how much B8 costs. <laughs> B8 costs a million dollars? <laughs> Screw this. I learned this trick where if you go like this, you just hold it and you just keep it here and it just keeps getting the same thing over and over. Oh yeah, there's yeah. actually a cheat code for this vending machine. Press one, yeah. D, yeah. one, yeah. O, yeah. T. <laughs> there's no T. Oh, cause I'm an idiot, that's why, huh? That's why. You know what? Let me get an F U. Oh. <laughs> Uh, let me do the spicy sweet chili Doritos. That's actually like good. Wow, what a compliment, Andrew. No, Lexi, you're the funniest. <laughs> <But let me, laughs> B1. Yo, what the hell? It ate my dollar. It, it literally ate my dollar. Let me do A5. I'll get the corn nuts. Did it eat my money again? <gasps> Okay, you guys, so I literally invited Jeremy over because desperate times call for desperate measures. I would not be hanging out with Jeremy otherwise. Hey, I can hear you. What was that for? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna take my business elsewhere then. I'm Jeremy, not... stop. Are you not surprised that I'm in a vending machine? You were just talking crap. Oh my God. So you don't want anything. Here, wait, is it cool if I have that one? Me. Yeah, that like like the snack in the green right there. Every single person has said the same thing. I guess I'm the MVP of the vending machine today. Oh, Jeremy, I'm not for sale. You're literally in the vending machine. You're scamming me. I'm not scamming you. You can have anything else. Oh, anything? Yeah, anything. Can I have that thing in the green right there? Didn't we go already go over this? <laughs> Do you have a short-term memory loss? You can't have me. Wait, so I guess you don't want my money. No, I want your money, but, but buy any one of these snacks. You're in the vending machine, and I want you, so I'm going to get you. <laughs> Okay. Hey, no, it's not out of service. Okay, maybe doing an overnight video in a vending machine was a bad idea. Only because I've already had like five bags of chips. I mean, what else am I supposed to do in here? All right, so it is literally 11.48. I've done just about everything there is to do in a vending machine. I've eaten chips. Some of my friends came and they hung out with me. They entertained me. And there's really nothing left to do besides go to bed. Okay, so wish me luck. And hopefully the next time I see you guys, it will be the morning. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm going crazy. I mean, I could very well be going crazy. I've been in a vending machine for like hours on end. I think I heard something or someone and it's kind of making me a little bit nervous. Jeremy, what are you doing? I'm here for a late night snack, what's the problem? You're here for a late night snack. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, I hate to break it to you. We're out of service. Jeremy, come on. It's hard enough to sleep here already. I'm already typing in the number and I'm putting in my order. No, Jeremy, I need to go back to sleep. Jeremy, the vending machine's closed. I'm trying to sleep. Why are you even here? And how do you have a matching pajama set on? Because I just rolled out of bed. <laughs> I'm hungry. You give me what I want and I'll leave, okay? What do you want? I ordered, uh... Jeremy, you don't get that until the morning. Do you want any chips or anything? Yeah, right there. You don't? No, I need to sleep here. 
Okay, I'll be back in like an hour then. Don't come back. I need to sleep. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, now the next time I see you will hopefully be the morning. <laughs> Okay, good morning from a vending machine. I never thought I would be saying that. You guys, I'm honestly kind of surprised that I completed this overnight challenge. Now, would I do it again? No. But was this a good experience? Also, no. Get me out of this thing. <gasps> you guys! We're out, and my back is killing me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go see a chiropractor now. I have a $200,000 treehouse and a $20 treehouse. And without further ado, let's compare the two. Our treehouse was so remote that we had to take a plane, rent a car, and then drive four hours just to get there. But all the travel was worth it because our treehouse left us saying, Oh my god. I have never seen anything like this, actually. This is the second most shocking thing I've seen all day. What's the first? Your um, outfit. Are you serious? Lexi, we're in Texas. You look ridiculous. Everybody dresses like this here. I haven't seen one person dressing oh like that. Oh my god, Lexi. Yeah. Can you, like, change or something? It must be true. Everything is bigger in Texas because this tree treehouse is crazy. It is true. Everything is bigger. Okay, is let's take a look at the treehouse. Lexi said that the treehouse should be right about here. I don't see it. Do you? I think that little thing over there is the treehouse. Huh? That doesn't even look like a treehouse. All right, this is a little bit smaller than I thought, but you know, we can make it work, right? It's literally just wood around a tree. Look, it's wood built around a tree. All right, not only do we have the cheap tree house, but I have to stay with this guy. Dude, I'm the best person you can stay with, man. Dude, I watch a lot of survival shows. I know what I'm doing. This is gonna be so bad. I even brought a ton of treats and a ton of essential stuff that we're gonna need to survive. Yeah, great. Right when you walk in, you have a kitchen, a bathroom, and a rock waterfall jacuzzi. Are you telling me this isn't even like the main part yet? So the main bedroom is across the bridge, and we're gonna take a look at that right now. Wait. Can we go in this later? Well, it depends if you change out of that outfit. We are literally on a bridge right now, and it's very wobbly because Andrew is very heavy. <laughs> don't shake it, Andrew, don't. Ah! Ah! Stop, stop, stop. On second thought, that's gonna be it for the treehouse. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I sure didn't. <laughs> I'm headed back home. Wait, no, no, I no, no. Texas, go that way. And I hate his outfits. <laughs> <laughs> what? In the world. Wow. I'm you know here. what? I'm actually moving here. I am moving here with you. Yeah, no, you're not. You have a literal tree in the middle of our house. Yeah. Okay, this is definitely a lot better than Brent's and Jeremy's tree house. Let me give you guys a little tour of where we'd be staying tonight. We have a nice little ladder to, you know, get up and down, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what else do we have up here? Here, Brent, you want to take it over for me? Nothing, Jeremy. We have nothing here. Hey, at least we have each other, right? Yeah. Uh huh. This is crazy. Andrew, where are you going to sleep? What you mean? Right here, baby. Come here. You know, I've actually never wanted to be in a crappy tree house with Brent and Jeremy more than I do right now. What? We have a tent that we can use. Hey, we're in really good hands. Like I said, I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? So first you just wanna you know, spread this out a little bit. And wait, what do these do? I thought they, I thought it's- You have to stick them in the tent. You have to make the tent. I thought it comes built. No, it doesn't come built. You gotta build it yourself. Bro, what? Yeah. Well, I don't think we're gonna need these. No, we're gonna need those. We don't have a tent if we don't have those. We're gonna sleep on this and use this as a blanket and then I use you as a pillow. Look, we're good, come on, let's go. Why? The hammock. The bed. Our bed. Oh my God. Oh, what? the wardrobe. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know that was gonna be in there. Right. Subscribe. The mirror. The tree. The two chairs that make Andrew and I look like an old married couple. The fireplace. Hey, there's no need for that. It's gonna get like hella hot in here after he leaves. These literally look like they can be like it can be a weapon. Got him! Oh my god! I got him! Ow. All right, let's kill him now. Let's go. Huh? Oh, come on. What? We're going to the treehouse. Let go of me. No. This treehouse is literally 120 feet up in the air. We're actually that high. Yes, we're that high up. How long do you think it would take for you to drop down there? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, wow, look at this. Like at the night, like at night when the stars are out, we could just watch the stars like this. 
Now you should see what I have in this bad boy right here. What do you have, Twinkies? First of all, I think most importantly, I got us matching PJs. Why do we need matching PJs? I could only bring a few things and that's like really important. No, we don't need matching PJs. Yeah, we do, okay? Also got us two bananas. Uh, they're getting a little bit old. Oh, that one has a bite out of it. I know, I'm maximizing my calories. I'm eating the peel too. You can't throw away those calories. I also got a stapler. I also got a dumbbell. I also got, um, I forget what this one's called, but it could be pretty useful. Binoculars. Oh, binoculars. That's the only useful thing that you've brought. Yeah, I can see Lexi and Andrew from here. No, you can't. I also got my favorite picture of Lexi. We probably need that up here. We can put that like right here. Where did you get that? Oh, from a room. I also got a ton of photos that we can look at of Lexi and your dad. I snuck over yesterday and I got these. Let me see that. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just What keep... is wrong with you? I'll just... Well, I know that's gone, but I saw my favorite t-shirt. Check this out. Okay. I'm sorry, Lexi, but I, I need to leave this tree house. I can't no. be stuck with this literally Lexi obsessed Guy. Don't worry, I'm the person you need here. I even brought a hammer. For what? Who knows? We might need it. I, I might need this to literally hammer your head. And I also brought my typewriter. How did this all fit in one suitcase? Uh, uh, I'm pretty smart. Huh? This treehouse also came with complimentary robes, so you know what to do. Wait, I wasn't ready yet. Oh my god! Okay, okay let's look. try one more time. Oh my god, that's better. Much better. Yo, Brent, I can see Andrew and Lexi right now. And they're in the jacuzzi together. It's an unspoken rule that if the place you're staying at has a jacuzzi, you have to use it. How do you like the treehouse? It's great. Guys, it's a jacuzzi, we're not gonna lie. No, we're, we're <laughs> not. Let's just be straight this up. It's not hot. It's freezing in it here. Is. Okay, Andrew, what kind of tree can fit in your hand? I don't know. What type a of palm is? tree. Okay. I also brought Brent a picnic to win him over. I got a little surprise in here for us. I got you a little something. You know, I knew it was gonna be me and you here together. So let me set this up for us, all right? It's a little picnic. Exactly. And I got us two peanut butter sandwiches. Dude, I cannot wait to I'm munch in. I'm allergic to peanut butter. Get that away from me, I'm allergic. Oh, you are? Yes, I can't eat that. Move for me, so what are you gonna eat? Not that. I'm gonna be over here minding my own business. What is a tree's favorite dating app? Linktree. Oh no, but that's good. Okay. Timber. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, Link Tree's a dating app too, right? I don't think so. Okay, Andrew, now that we're in a jacuzzi together, is it true that everything's bigger in Texas? Uh, let me see. Oh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. Okay, Brent, how you feeling right now? Not good. Jeremy's on my last nerve, and I'm literally starving. The only thing he brought was a peanut butter sandwich. All right, Jeremy, how are you liking the treehouse? I like the treehouse, but I feel like crap. I didn't know he was allergic to peanut butter. You know what? I didn't make it up for him. I'm glad we are. The treehouse also came with a complimentary chef if we wanted one, and of course, we want one. Yeah, we do. Where is she? She'll be here Wait. any minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my well, this is your first course for today. Four? Yes. Oh my. Okay. Lucky us. Oh my god. I, I do feel really bad for Brent and Jeremy. So I haven't seen Jeremy for about an hour. I don't know where he is, but I'm not too mad about it. I caught something. Dude, this was so hard to get, man. I kept running away. What is that? Hurry. Is that a McChicken? Here. Is this a hamburger? I don't know what it is. I saw like out in the wild. I had a catch. I got my hands dirty and everything. Be appreciative. Why would you put a stick through it? For flavor. Like, did you really go to McDonald's to get this? Uh, not exactly that, but... Uh, Pretty close. Hey, he just stole my son's make chicken. If your kid really wanted it, they would have put up a fight. He like literally handed it to me. He's four. Right here, oh my we have some potato gnocchi and roasted butternut squash oh my with gosh. a brown butter sage. Yum. Sauce. This is definitely gonna be the best course because I love this. Ah, look at that sunset. Beautiful, right? Yeah. I actually wanted to ask you a little question. Probably now is probably the perfect time to ask you. No. Why? The answer is no. I hadn't even asked you the question yet. I don't care. Okay, well, what I wanted to ask so you- Get your hand off me. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Freshly filled cannolis. Uh, <laughs> like, Lexi. what in the world? Enjoy. Wait, can we take you home? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is crazy. Like, when I go to a restaurant, like, the food isn't this good and I don't have this many courses. So the fact that she came with this treehouse is crazy. I actually want to take it home. To make us food. Oh. Okay, yeah, sure, to make us food. What a, eat your cannoli. I think we should tell some scary stories to each other. You wanna tell scary stories? Let's do it. You go first. She went and traveled with somebody else to another tree house, another dude. Dude, that's terrifying, dude. I have goosebumps thinking about that right now. You know now. what's terrifying? You being literally right next to me. That, that's a scary story. Two people in a tree house under the same cover. I don't find it that scary. I find it scary, I'm leaving. Okay, Andrew and I are stargazing now. It's so beautiful. It is really pretty. That one reminds me of you. Really? Yeah, you're my shooting star. Stop. Like actually really funny you say that. Let's look. Hey Andrew, what? Hey, why do you have that? Why huh? is my why do you have my face on a shirt? What? Me and Jeremy have matching ones. Hey, I, 
I take back what I but said. But mine's about like the way better quality. My shirt's like be- no, it's way not. better quality. It's not though. better quality. I no, take I back swear. What I said. You mean no, look. All right, we should probably get ready for bed. <sighs> Thank you. Worst day of my life. Best day of mine. Just go to bed. All right. Not on my shoulder. All right, it is time to go to bed. Good night, Andrew. Good night, Lexi. Oh shoot, I forgot something. Staying overnight in a fish tank. I'm not really sure how this is gonna go, so please give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Woo! All right, so this is the fish tank. It's empty right now, so let's fill this thing up. All right, let's do this thing. All right, guys, the water is filling up. It's pretty chilly in here. Does this how fish feel all the time? Because if so, then somebody get them a blanket. All right, let's start decorating. Okay, so now that I'm all settled into the fish tank, I have Brent and Pearson coming over, and I printed out a riddle for them to come and find me, so we're gonna see if they can figure it out or not. I think either way, they're gonna be very surprised. Hello. Oh, hey. I have something for you. Oh. oh what is this? Hey, Bert. Find Lexi. I'm in a place that you use for fights in the summer. If I leak in your house. Call the plumber. Okay, so it's a riddle. Yes, yeah, so this is gonna tell us where Lexi is. Okay, so it's water. The pool out back. I'm sure she's just hiding in the pool, right? It's not a jacuzzi, right? Oh, there is. Yeah, there is. Oh, what? Do you see her over there? <laughs> you don't have to scream. Warmer? Warmer? Yeah. Warmer. Uh... <laughs> Oh Wait, my god. You're a real life mermaid. My question is, how'd you even get in there? Alright, so I have a question. Where are the fish? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so oh many fish. Lexi, <laughs> relax. You're fine. You're fine. Oh my god, there's like a literal fish right here. Well, it's not a fish tank without the fish, so this makes sense now. I hate this. This is actually my last YouTube video ever. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is really happening. There are real goldfish in here. Ah! <gasps> One just touched my leg. Okay, I have a question for you guys. What's up? What is the most expensive fish? The most expensive fish. I don't know anything about fish. Um, a, 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 a bluefin tuna. No, a gold. Okay, you guys, I don't blame them for leaving. It was a pretty bad joke. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Okay, so now Ben's coming over and we're gonna get his reaction to this because it's kind of crazy. All right. Lexi, <laughs> how am I supposed to know where she is? No clues. Use your instincts. She would be hiding in a little drawer. <laughs> She's even one of those, one of those hiding in the fridge videos. Okay, that's just good. Never mind. <laughs> Lexi! Bro, where is she? I don't know where <laughs> Well, I told you she's on this side of the house, so. Yeah, I'm coming back inside. I gotta, keep, I gotta check the living room now. Oh, she's definitely back here. She's on this side. What the? Ah! <laughs> Not behind the couch. She's in the freaking aquarium. She's in the fish tank. There's like little goldfish, but like that's one big fish right there. Are you calling me fat? Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Lexi, when you're done with this video, though, just make sure you don't drain the water. I'm gonna take some and sell it. Okay, you know what? You can go ahead and leave. Lexi's aquarium water for sale. What's the point of this? Well, I'm going to be attempting to stay in here overnight. That's a long time to be in an aquarium. Do you need anything? Do you think you can get me some more food? More food? You got you got plenty of fish. I thought you liked sushi. I do like sushi. Okay, no, I'm kidding, okay, I'm kidding. You know what? I will get you some food. I'll be right back. All right. Some fish food. I wanted food, she didn't specify what kind of food. I got her fish food. I care about the fish more than I care about her. All right, Ben is here to save the day. Hey, I got you some food. Thank you, Ben. Right here. What is that? It's fish food. Ben, I'm not gonna eat fish food. No, you're not gonna Don't eat Don't pour it. that in here either. The fish are gonna eat it. Ben! <gasps> I gotta feed my little friend. Oh my god. Ben, I asked for real food. I'm not an actual no. fish just because I'm in here. You didn't say real food, you said food. So I'm here to bring you fish food because you're in a fish tank. Oh my god. So you're not gonna get me real food? Uh, no. Ben, why are you even here? <laughs> you asked me to be here. <laughs> Alright, Lexi, how was the fish food? No, Ben, I'm actually, I think I might get out. You said you want to get out? Yeah. Alright, well have fun no, getting out. I'm not 
when the door's closed. She said she wanted to get out. I'm sure she really can't get out. Just like that. The door is locked. You guys, Ben just closed the door and locked it. So, looks like this challenge is happening whether I want it to or not. Okay, little update. The fish are literally eating the fish food that Ben put in here. And I have a funny feeling that they're going to eat me next. So... <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, you guys, another little update. I have not stopped shivering since I've gotten into this fish tank, mainly because the fish need the water to be a certain temperature, like to live in it. And unfortunately, that temperature is very, very cold. So I have been shivering this whole time. Uh, a little hypothermia never killed anybody though, right? I'm just kidding, it literally did. Okay, another little update. I didn't even realize, but one of the goldfish was nibbling at my finger for the last 20 minutes. There's a little bit of blood there, but it should be okay because we're in a tank full of goldfish and not a tank full of sharks. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble. Okay, so now I invited Andrew over and we're gonna see what he thinks. Oh, right. hello. Lexi told me to come. She said we were doing a challenge. Wait, what the f <laughs> Why is she always stuck in these things? <laughs> this is like the most random, like I, I did not expect this at all. Did you get a haircut? Really? You're in a fish tank right now and you're asking me if I got a haircut. <laughs> okay, so you know how I told you to wear swim trunks? Don't tell, am I getting in there with you? Well, you have an opportunity to not get into though. Okay. So, yeah. we're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. And if you lose, then you have to come in here for 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Andrew, I'm in here for 24 <laughs> hours. Okay, but I didn't... I didn't thought we were doing some fun. What? Am I putting <laughs> a fish tank? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I'm leaving, I'm not. No, you're coming in here. Welcome to the aquarium. Like, what are you making me do? Like, oh my God. Here comes Andrew. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys, when I'm telling you how difficult this challenge is, Andrew can't even get into the fish tank. I'm in. Woo! I'm in. Okay. Uh, oh, it's getting close. See, my Andrew legs. literally can't even handle it. No, no. It's fine, they're not gonna. Okay, it's fine, just they're all on my side, Andrew. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, look, we're in a fish tank, Andrew. Wow, it's crazy. I've never done anything like this Isn't before. Isn't this nuts? It is nuts, Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> my nuts are freezing, too. <laughs> okay, actually, you can get out. <laughs> all right, Andrew, you've been in here for five minutes. How are you feeling? Five minutes? No way, it's been like an hour. You've but... literally been in here for five minutes. What? Why am I doing this? Fish keep attacking me, Lexi. Okay, Andrew, if it's that bad, you can get out now, okay? Okay. But you have to pay me $100. What? Uh, fine, deal. I'm getting okay, out. Okay, you can get out. If this doesn't show how difficult this is, I don't know what will. Andrew was in here for five minutes, oh. and he's paying me money to <clears throat> leave. See ya. Bye, my little mermaid. <laughs> Okay, so it is 11.45 at night. Andrew left about an hour ago. I didn't think about this, but there is no way for me to sleep in here. It's like trying to go to sleep in a bathtub. It's just not safe because you don't want to like drown. And then I also can't sleep standing up. Obviously, I wasn't thinking about much because I'm in a fish tank right now. So I guess the goal right now is to stay up as long as I can and try my best not to freeze. I'm not going to lie, I've been trying to occupy myself, trying to stay up in here, um, but I'm getting very tired, and like I said, there's no way for me to sleep. It is 2.10 in the morning. I've been in here a very long time, and it's not looking like I'm gonna be able to stay much longer. Help is here. I literally can't. A lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I tried. Okay, that was definitely the toughest challenge I've ever done, but I tried my best. We'll get it next time. I am going to be spending 24 hours in the world's smallest car. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, so please give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and without further ado, let's get this video started. Woo! You guys, check this out. One of the smallest cars in the world. You know who'd really love this? Ben. Hey, can I get some curly fries? Yeah, Chris, Chris gets fine. Do you want to play I Spy? Sure. I Spy something green. You're sure. No, the tree. I Spy a bad driver. Okay. Yes, sir. That's good. All right, Ben. So 
I am staying in this small car for 24 hours. Do you have any advice for me? You know what? It might be a smart car, yeah. but it's a really dumb idea. So you don't have any advice? You don't think I can do it? Honestly, no. I really don't. You don't believe in me? You know what? I got one thing that get a little easier for you. Really? I'm back. You know how the car is like really small and like tight? How about we make it a little more claustrophobic? How about we... No, not yet! Mac and peanuts! Yeah, there you go. Seriously? Let's fill this car up a little more. Really, how about one more bag? No! <laughs> You guys, this is ridiculous. Hey, if you thought the car was small, now it's even smaller. You're so mean for this. Uh, well, enjoy the challenge. Let's take one of those. Yeah, no, they're not edible. All right, we are now picking up Jeremy. He's gonna die at this, you guys. Did you get a new car? <laughs> what is this? Do you like it? I mean, it matches like your height. What is that supposed to mean? It's basically saying you're short. How are you supposed to sleep in this tiny? I know. Room? I mean, does this recline or something? Or? No, this is pretty much it. So do you want to stay with me for the 24 hours? I mean, anywhere else, but not here. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't want to stay with me, then you can wash my car instead. What? How does that make sense at all? Jeremy, you can either wash my car or do the 24 hour challenge with me. It's up to you. Honestly, I'm gonna have to wash the car. Okay. Yeah, I, All can't, right. I can't stay in here. So, are you ready for your car wash? Honestly, I don't know if I'm ready for my car wash. <laughs> I, I bet you'd love for me to stay the night in here now. In this no, honestly, Jeremy, I think I'm good. I don't know why I did this. My On second thought, my car doesn't need a car wash. <laughs> oh my god, okay. You know what? <laughs> God. Is this guy for real? Now I'm ready to spend this 24 hours with you. No, Jeremy, do not come, come in on. here. <laughs> no! My car wash is over and I need you to leave. I just washed it. I deserve to sit in here with you peacefully now. Jeremy, please leave. <laughs> oh my what? God. That is the smallest car I've ever seen. Why does it fit you? This makes so much more sense than your other car. If Lexi was a car, this would be it. Get in, girls. We're going shopping. I don't Get think there's in? room. Super comfortable. This must be great on road trips. Oh yeah. yeah. Just to show you how small this car is, here are three small girls in it. Are you coming to scout? Okay, okay, here we go. Oh. I've been in this car all day. It's safe to say I'm very uncomfortable. I just want to like get out and stretch. Like I could definitely use a massage. <laughs> when did you get here? What? You said you needed a massage, right? But how did you get here? You don't need to know about that. Just know you're getting a massage and you have four wishes left. <laughs> Andrew, I'm mm -hmm. gonna be staying in here overnight. I feel like this is perfect for you, but even like I can how? <laughs> and there's literally no backseat. What are you looking <laughs> at? <laughs> so Andrew and I are going to go get some dessert. Yes, I hope we don't crash. We're not gonna crash. <laughs> and do you know who's driving? Yeah, that's why I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> you really can't see. I have glasses because I have astigmatism. Like you know how there's like nearsighted and farsighted? Yeah. I can't see both. Can you, you see know? this up? Yeah, are you holding up a number two? No, three. <laughs> the funny thing is, is we could be in this tiny car. I could be blindfolded and like half asleep. We would get to somewhere safer than we would if you were driving oh, really? your normal car. Really? <laughs> you guys were to ride with Lexi. You start calling your family. Like, you're lying. Because you know that's going to be like, you're, you're going to die soon. You know? I've been scary. driving all day and nobody has complained about it. Can I get a Sunday and then another just regular Sunday? Wait, wait. Look guys, Lexi can't even reach them. Hi. Nice car. <laughs> Thank you. I've been in here all day. Like, I could stay in here forever. I mean, it's perfect for her, but I'm like super uncomfortable yeah. right now. I got tagged in the video. Brent was asking your grandma and your, um, and your mom questions. She said she thought I was the most attractive one. She actually said yeah. that. She really was it said that. that. Was it planned or no? No, I swear to God, she literally said that. Who's the most attractive friend that I have? Andrew. Juan <laughs> has a crush on Andrew. <laughs> so, what are you guys going to go out now? Like, I mean, are you, I'm like, just are waiting you... for her to do some, like, to do something about it. <laughs> You're waiting for my grandma to do something about it? Yeah. Why don't you do something about it? I mean, I could. I just like. I think she's waiting on you. Really? Mm -hmm. Like, I actually. You think I'm playing, but I actually would. I, I think your aunt. I mean, so, I wouldn't want to like marry her, but I just want to like. Oh, like, you fool around. <laughs> So you're trying to play my grandma? <laughs> no, I mean we're both on the same time, so I'm not playing her. Oh, we're so you, wait, other. you and my grandma have talked about this already. Yeah. Oh, okay. So are you gonna be my so grandpa? I'm gonna be your papa. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just thought we would like hang out and get and get dessert. I mean, you're free to go if you want to leave, but I'll be here all night. And 
Ridge Row. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? It's too tight in here. If you maybe got a bigger car, I'd be down. I definitely had a very eventful day, and there's nothing else to do in this tiny car except go to sleep. I think that's what we're gonna do, and I don't know how I'm gonna sleep in here because the seats don't recline. I, I might sleep like this, or actually, I might try to fit in this back seat. Okay, I'm definitely going to be sleeping back here. This isn't a back seat. It's like literally like a little bench. I think this is where I'm going to sleep because I can at least lay down here and I can't lay down in the seat. So hopefully the next time I see you will be in the morning. All right, good night you guys. Oh my God. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do a time lapse in here you guys, it's just way too small. You'll just have to trust that I'm here all night. Good morning, you guys. I honestly cannot believe that I completed this challenge. Definitely one of the worst nights of sleep I've gotten in a long time. We did it. I'll see you guys next week.